now? Do you know what's happening right now? I don't know if you know what's happening right now, but the car is ready. Rock, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Do you want to get out? Do you want to get out? Just wait a sec, Rock. Here, just a little bit, I'll let you out. All right, wait a sec. Two seconds, more to gear. Guys, I'm just gonna check if I can see you. We're gonna do a full rundown of the car. How much everything. All right, we're gonna let Rock go out, man. He's doing my heading. All right, wait a sec, let's let him out. Let's see if we're on, actually, we're on first. Oh yeah, we're on. Hey, put down in the chat, guys, if you're ready for this video right now. Full walkthrough. Rock, you're gonna get out, bro. You're doing my heading. Wait, let me go grab you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Oh, Rocco. Oh, wait, all right, I got you. Say hello to everyone. All right, go. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Rocco's off. Just give me one sec, guys. He's as pumped as I am. So basically, everyone's been saying, Luke. When are you going to do these videos? I'm hanging for your normal content. I promise you all oh, they're coming, right? And the reason why I'm doing these lives now, the reason why I'm doing these lives now is so I can keep you updated through what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So that's exactly why I'm doing them. Oh, I just pulled my, oh, I just pulled my calf muscle. Fuck. Oh. Uh, let me just get this ready. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Oh my god, I just pulled my calf muscle, bro. Icon, what's going on, brother? I see you there. It was good meeting you too, bro. It was good meeting you too. It was awesome meeting you guys in the comment section. Drop. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just going to fix, fix this up. Let me just see so I can... What I'm going to do is I, I'm going to use this phone to go through. So basically what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do a full walkthrough on the car. Complete walkthrough. Right? And I'm going to explain how much everything cost. Everything. And what I got done. So just give me one sec. Here we go. Just got to fix this up. And then I can see. Oh, man. I'm almost there, guys. All right, we're pretty much done now. All right, so we're gonna start from the back of the car to the front. And like I said, please don't forget, I'm gonna start normal content, all right? Um, very soon, so we hit the road, and you know we're going to Nigugu Coast in what, how long? Probably about 15 days, guys. So 15 days, I'm gonna go straight up WA, all right? All right, let me just see if you guys can see me now. I want you. I'm so excited. You know, this is like a dream come true of mine, you know? Ever since I was living in Cairns or well, before Cairns, you know, the adventure started from here, just filming TikToks and from these TikToks and YouTube, started doing YouTubes, you know, getting no views. Um, from now doing this. So, you know, if you want to do something, anything, you guys can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it and you just stick, like stick it out, right? You got to keep sticking it out and keep pushing through and eventually it'll come, it'll happen for you guys, okay? So, yeah. Hi Luke, it's Farm Boy, what's going on? Oh, I can see you guys here. So, we're going to go through the car. Fuck, I just pulled my calf, would you believe it? Just let me stretch really quick. Let me just stretch, oh man. Oh, my calf muscle. All right. All right. Let's close this back of the boot. If you've got any questions you'd like to ask, put them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to them, try to get back to everyone's um, comments. All right. So, the first thing that we're going to start on, guys, is the back of the car, the GVM upgrade, right? Let me just pull this back a bit. Hey, Luke. Love the patrol, thanks bro. Uh, start from the back. Start from the arse end, we should say. Right, actually I'll take this out so you guys can see. So, 
We did a GVM upgrade. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Now, what a GVM upgrade means is I can put a bit more weight onto the car, right? So let me see something for a sec. Right, so there it is there. Right, that's it there. Independent suspension as well. Murgi. All right, GVM, there it is there as well. Now, to put air in the airbags, it's here. So what I've got a load on, see if you guys can see me. So when I've got a load on the car, right, I just put roughly when I've got the van and everything on, not, not like the timber, but I don't do anything like that. But when I've got the van on, I put them up to about like 40 to 45. Sometimes more, depends, excuse me, depends how the car's sitting, right? Now, the GVM upgrade costs to do, so like I said, it's a 4499 GVM and it cost $11,280, right, for the GVM. So that's it there, like I said. Where you at? I'm at the boat ramp, bro. All right, so that's how much that cost. Now we'll go around. Uh, we'll go around to the tires, all right? So we've done that. Oh, I've got the Anderson plug as well to tow the van. So what that does is, I'll quickly talk about how much that costs as well. All right. Let me just quickly do this. Anderson plug. Who's this plug? Hey, why don't you go out in the boat? What's that? Why don't you go out in the boat? Ah, oh, it's too windy. <laughs> Sorry, mate. What's that? That's a pinky bit for an Oh, is there? Oh, heaps, mate. Pinkies? But, but not. Oh, there's some snapper pea. Okay, yeah, yeah. Have not, you been fishing there? Yeah, I went last night. Nice size? You know that landing you go down? Yeah. The little one you walk down on heaps? Yeah. I just went down on there. On the rocks? No, no. When you're walking out, yeah. you like to go past where the ferry is. Yeah. And just past there is a you walk down the ramp. Okay. Alright. I just fish there, but they're getting them all along there. On the rock the rock wall and that, yeah? Oh, on the rock wall, but it's a waste of time going out. You don't have to go on the rock wall and you can't get a good spot anyway. Okay, yeah. How many did you get? You got photos or no? No, I didn't take photos. Okay. No. Oh I got a Three or four last night, four the night before. Nice. Two nights before, but Christina, who you spoke to a while ago, with yeah. Orange, two nights ago, they bagged out. Oh, but they bagged one, out? One was well, on the out. beach you went, was it on the beach? No. Where the, you know the covered walkway? Yeah. She oh, there. just there, yeah. yeah two short people. Oh, so you went off there, just there? I went a bit further. Oh, on the pier still though. Oh, I get what pier. you're saying. Where the boats but on are. On the other side. Oh, on the left side. Yeah. Ah, oh, I get what Imagine you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I might have to go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go, man. Yeah, no <laughs> Thanks for the update. Cheers, bro. This guy. Sorry about cutting the live off. This guy just caught pinkies last night, man, at Port Arlington, and they're getting him at the pier. Anyways, all right, let's go. So the Anderson plug. Now this Anderson plug has ran to the battery and what it does is, it, this obviously, it, it's from the caravan. So I plug it in from the van and it charges the batteries in the van. Now this cost me, to, not me, but I got an order, I like to do it in a, and he paid cash, $900, right? Now the cables for the Anderson plug, look how thick they are. They're like battery cable, man, because our setup in the van is crazy. So if you see that, I don't know if you can tell how thick they are, but look how thick the cables are right now. So they're really thick, right? So $900. And don't forget, at the end, I'm gonna give you a total of how much everything costs, okay? All right, what are we gonna do now? Uh, I think the best thing we do now, I don't know which wheels, uh, wheels and rims. Let's go to the front of the car. Rock! Fucking my ass is dirty. No, I just sat in that dirt. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, wheels and rims, let's go around. I'm coming back to Cairns, bro. This is what I'm doing first. All right. So I got R R O H rims with fucking 34s, boys. All right. So these are 34, four inch, and these were actually sponsored. So yeah, I got these basically for nothing. Right. So we got five of them. R O H rims, 34 inch. So the wheels didn't cost me nothing in the rims. Okay. All right. What's next? So that's done. So we've got. 
We've got the back. All right, we're gonna go to the front. Who wants to see the front of the car? Put down the comment section if you wanna see the front of the car, boys. Let me put you here. We'll make our way to the front now. Rock, are you all good? Can't believe that bloke's catching fish at Queenscliff for it. That's crazy. Hammer, I'm good, bro. I'm really good. Oh, yeah, the brake controller as well. I got the brake controller done in cans. I don't really want to talk about that. Um, but that was done in cans, and that cost that cost us as well, the brake controller. Where is it? Let me find it here, because I've got it all written down, because there's so much shit I forgot to forget to talk about it. I don't really want to miss anything. Um, where is it? Winch, wheels and rims. Electric brakes. So... $1,500 for the brake controller, all right? That's supplied, fitted everything, what I needed. All right, let's go. Hammer, I'm good, bro, I'm good. All right, we're gonna go to the front of the car. All right, let's go. Are you guys ready or what? I'm gonna show you guys a snorkel. What the hell's on there? Oh, look, there's a butterfly on there, bro. So, the snorkel, safari, safari snorkel we went with. Um, and the reason why I wanted to go safari, I was going to go the, um, what was it? I was going to go the, the stainless snorkel, but apparently they don't suck as hard as these. And the bloke that actually did the works to the car, he said that, that we did research, these safari snorkels are engineered, right? They're engineered for these cars, well, for every car that they put them on. So that's another reason why. And the guy said with the, um, the aluminium snorkels as well. He reckons when it gets hot, like if you, I'm out in bush and it's fucking hot, right? He reckons that obviously they're black and they're steel. And what happens is they get really, really hot and the silicon like mounts and uh, melts a bit and pulls away and then you get dust in and all this sort of shit. So he doesn't recommend them. You know, I do like the, I do like the look of the stainless fucking snorkels. They look sick, bro. Um, you can't tell me they don't. They do look good, but performance-wise, um, yeah, I just think these are better. What do you guys reckon in the comment section? Do you like the look of the snorkel, or do you reckon I should have put a stainless one there? Let's have a look. What do you guys reckon? Which one? Do you like the look of the, do you reckon Safari or Aluminium? Where's Rock? Murgi! <whistles> Rock! snorkel better yeah but what do you like do you reckon this one or should i went the stainless steel one let me see hammer i reckon snorkel mint looks good yeah i reckon it looks sick rock <whistles> hey murgi yeah look at it bro it looks sick i reckon anyway safari way better very reliable stainless yeah i don't know i, I like the safari one bro stainless fishing wa stainless all right, so not really. All right, so what did the stainless, what did this cost me to fit, cost us to do actually? So the snorkel cost, supplied and fitted was $1,100, $1,100 supplied and fit snorkel, right? Remember, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a full sum total of what everything cost us, okay? Um, what else is there? Who's ready? Who's ready for the front of the car? Where's Rocco again? A little bastard's running away, mate. He's all right. Who's ready? Safari, ouch. Luke, when are you going to post real YouTube videos instead of the live video? I'm missing them. Bro, this is why I'm showing you guys this because I'm hitting the road in like, say, I don't know, 14, 14 to 20 days I'm going to WA. So that's when they're going to come back, man. I'm hanging. So remember, the videos are coming back, boys, okay? All right. And then obviously, shit, my fly was done, undone that whole time. What didn't anyone tell me my fly was undone? What's the verdict on Cairns? Should a South African Kiwi and his heart move their bloody weather in New Zealand sucks? Oh, I love Cairns. Floyd, I love Cairns, bro. You definitely have to go suss it out. Love it. I love it. All right, as you know, we've got the boat on the roof, right, from Brisbane, Yamaha. And then we've got these roof racks, right? Now, what did the roof racks cost? I fitted the roof racks myself, but... Rock! <whistles> Rocco! Come on, bro. What are you doing? Look at him. Just have a look at him. Look. Rock! Oh my God, boys, just quickly. Thanks, bro, I appreciate it. 
We're going to move down to the bull bar in a sec. There's a boat coming through here, boys. Is this guy dead set going to go fishing? Fuck, he's keen. He's keen. I got my stainless snorkel and air box from J-Max 700, but had to fit it myself. Okay, so that's pretty good. I know the stainless ones... Guys, are you see, look at Rocco. I know the stainless snorkels... Um, the stainless snorkels are a bit more expensive, but I like the look of the stainless, but I really like the look of this safari one, man. Um, yeah. Give me a wave on your left. Someone watching me. That's a bit... Who is watching? So you see me waving? Um, oh, there's someone watching me do a live. <laughs> That's funny. Rock! Um, yeah, anyway, so like I said, people are saying post real content. So tomorrow is going to be very interesting because Alex and myself are taking the boat off for the first time. Right? I've never even tried. People are like, bro, have you got the boat off yet? I haven't even fucking tried to take it off. We've, because I've been trying to organise that much stuff for the road, I just haven't focused on it. So, my next thing now is the boat. And that's going to be tomorrow. Put down in the comment section yes or no if you want me to live streaming it. Live stream it. Take, uh, live stream it. Is that how you say it? Fuck, I don't even know what I'm saying. Doing the boat. So, yes or no. Live stream me taking the boat off for the first time. Do you want to see it live? Yes or no. Put it down in the comment section. Rock, what's going on? There he is, he's back. Yep, you guys want to see it? You all want to see it. Uh, we're going to do it, right? Um, there's no good of me travelling around Australia if I can't get the fucking boat on and off, you know what I mean? But I'm going to work something out. How, hey, Luke, how do you plan getting the tinny off? And Well, that's what I, I want to show you tomorrow. Yes, I'm going to use the winch to help, um, but I'll talk to you about that. We'll talk about it tomorrow, all right? The roof racks, I installed the roof racks myself. So tomorrow, if when we get the boat off, I'm gonna um, take these roof racks off and I'm gonna lock tight, take it off, lock tight everything, then put the roof racks back on. Um, yeah, coral, coral, uh, coral graded, how do you say it? Coral graded roads and that. I really think I should lock tight, it's just been on my mind. So the roof racks cost, let me see where they are. Roof racks were $850, man. And they're only like literally just bars, can you see? Look, there's three bars. That's all it is on the roof. Three bar, uh, bars, bro. So, uh, yeah. All right. Chat, put down the comment section. Are you guys ready to see the front of the car? He's ready. He's ready. Murgi. Bam, bam. That's the front of the car. Let me know if you guys like it. Yes or no? Do you like the color coding? Actually, let me just do something. I've got to do something really quick, boys. I've got to do something. I've got to turn the wheels. Give me a sec. Just makes it look better, you know what I mean? Just makes it look better, yeah? Look at that. I had to turn the wheel, man. I just had to turn it. Dirty. All right. So this is the car. Do you like the, um, what should I go? What do you want to see first? I'll talk about, uh, what should we talk about first? Talk about the spotlights. I'll talk about the spotlights first. All right, so I've got the CD spotlights, right? I've never used these at night. I was supposed to do this last night, but I didn't take it out and use it because I want to set up, um, I want to set up, so these just pop out like that. And then you've got two choices to pick from. You've either got, see this comes off too, now it's going to start raining on me, bro. See, I can pull this out, come on. See, these come out too, and you can actually change the colours of these. I liked, we liked these because they were like, do they just look different? They're like curved. Put down the comment section if you like the CD lights or if you've used them. I've never used them before. I had the orange ones on these, but I um, I took them off, bro. So, yeah, you guys like it. In your travels, if you come through Mount Isa, you should try your luck out at the lake and try bag yourself a swamp donkey barramundi. 100%, bro. That's the goal, man. I'm coming back for that barra, yeah? I'll give these a wipe quickly. All right, so the lights. So 
the two lights, how much did they cost me? Let me find out and I'll tell you guys. Two lights, CD lights, steady lights, CD lights. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, bro. Anderson plug, we did that. Electric brakes, we did that. Wheels and rims, winch, not yet fitted. Eco spotlights and bar. Oh, oh, I just caught that. Woo! And as you can see as well, um, Animal Toro as well, they supply this bar as well. See this one in there? All right? So they supply that too, that light bar. Like I said, I haven't used this yet at night, so I want to adjust the lights. I don't know if I've got to put them up, put them down, whatever. Yeah. Um, but what did that cost? Let's have a look. Oh, man. All right, so the spotlights and the light bar cost me 1480 right? 1480 supplied and fitted, right? That's these two lights and the light bar. Um, yeah. If you've got any questions, bro, put in the comment section and I'll answer them. All right, now to the bull bar. This is the fun part. Fucking this wind is so strong. I don't know how these blokes are going fishing, man. All right, let's do this. Give me a sec. I'll go through the the bull, the bull bar now. And then, like I said, we'll do the the um. We'll do the complete. How much everything cost me? All right. All right. Cool. All right. So the bull bar we got it powder coated. So bar from Animal Toro. It's an Animal Toro bull bar. Right. I don't even know how we got it in because I was so that they were the guy at the shop helped us out. He had one. Where was it? I can't remember where it was. Anyways, we, we, we ordered it, we tried to order it when we were in Cairns, probably about five months ago, we couldn't get one, and then we managed to keep calling and they found one for us. So this was originally powder-coated black. It wasn't color-coded to the car, right? So they said, all right, we've got the bull bar. Um, I got it sent to the panel beaters and they, they spray-painted it the same color as the car and that was $800 cash to do that. Um, let me know if you like that as well. Do you like the, do you like how it's color coded to the car? The original color was here, look. See, it's like powder coated black there. So that was the original color, right? Um, and that's it then. And I left the grill like the same. I left that black. I left this black as well in there. I reckon it looks sick. And that too, we left, we left that black also. Um, but do you like it powder coated or you reckon I should have left it black? Put it down in the comment section boys and girls Should I left it black or it's good like that? Just waiting for these comments to come in. Let me let me know what you think Looks tough Alright, so you like that color That's what we want to hear Guys give it a like too. I appreciate the love. Give it a like. Alright, so the bull bar supplied and fitted Rocco, <laughs> it makes me laugh. Murugi's in the thing. All right, bull bar fitted, supplied, and color coded. Um, five one four zero. Now that's uh, supplied, fitted, color coded, right? But the color coded um, cost me eight hundred bucks cash. So you put five one five one four zero minus the eight hundred. That's what it cost me to fit, right? Um, now what else we got? We've got the winch, boys. Powder coded nicely. I don't know, the guy reckons, so the guy that did the works, he's like, it's not really powder coated. He's like, it's good, but he reckons, see how it's like a bit rough here? And he's like, it's shiny, shiny, and then rough on the edges, but I think they did a good job. I don't know, it's going to get chips on the road, yeah? Or well, is that too expensive? I don't know, that's what we got quoted. Everyone was hot. That was the cheapest one we found to color code it, yeah. All right, let's move on to the winch, boys. 1200 carbon off carbon off road we got. Put down in the comment section if you heard about these winches before. Carbon off road. I'm gonna put a shackle on here, I think. Let me know. But um yeah. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna do a live and just go through the winch, take it out, use it, or I might do it today, I don't know. I might take it out. Alright, so the winch cost supply and fit winch. Where is it? Rock! 
All right, the winch cost me, the winch was $1,470, $1,470 supplied and fitted, the winch, $1,400, all right? Come back to Cairns, I'll take you to Green Island, bro. I'm, don't worry, bro, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. All right, total cost. I'm just gonna get, tell you guys the total cost, okay? Put down in the comment section, before I, I tell you guys what the cost was for the car, put down in the comment section and try guess, estimate how much you're gonna cost me for the whole car, for the, just to do the, Rock, Rocco. Yeah, put down in the comment section what the works cost me, the accessories, what do you think? And I'll give you guys a shout out. Um, shout out, I'll see who's the closest really quick, go, go now. Let me suss it out. Go. So, how much do you think it cost me to put the bull bar on, the lights, the light bar, the roof racks, the tyres, like I said, were sponsored. They got, we got them for nothing. Um, the snorkel, let's go. Any estimates or what? 10 seconds. See if you can guess. Eighty k, no. Eight k, no. One hundred and twelve, not including the car, minus the car, minus the car. Just the, just, just the accessories, just the works. Yeah, for all the goodies. Let's see who's the closest. Twelve k, they're coming in now. One hundred sixty-seven k. Sorry, guys, about that. Jason, thirty-five k. All right, the closest one, right? The closest guess is Peter. Peter La Luta. Peter La Culta, whatever. Is that how you say your name? Peter La Culta. Right? The whole works, everything. Oh, 50 amp, I didn't even say that. So the whole works cost us 23500 right? For the whole works. So Peter's the closest. So it's not that bad, even though we got everything, you know, not many things sponsored, but yeah, that's basically what it cost us. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Do you reckon that's a good price? Do you reckon that's a, not a bad price? Yeah, 23500 In saying that, the car's ready now and we're gonna hit the road and we're coming after the Barramundi. Well, first we're gonna WA, like I said, so we might get, so what I want to target there is what I want to target there is Spanish mackerel, crayfish. Still haven't caught a crayfish yet. Caught a Spanish mackerel, but everyone said it was foul hooked. So I'm coming for it. Thank you for the love, guys. I'll see you tomorrow in another live. We're going to take this boat off. Um, so I'll see you guys there. Much love. Thank you.